Calgary West. Mr. Speaker, uh, it is an honour for me to rise and begin debate on Bill 205, the Pharmacy and Drug Pharmaceutical Equipment Control Amendment Act 2016. Bill 205 will place Alberta at the forefront of a national fight against fentanyl and W18 by regulating the possession of pill presses. The bill amends the Pharmacy and Drug Act by requiring Albertans to obtain a license to possess a pill or tablet press and it lays out sturdy fines for those who have them illegally. Pharmacies are exempted from having to obtain a license. Other details, such as further exemptions, will be determined in the regulations after additional consultation has occurred. The concern with pill presses is that drug dealers use various recipes to manufacture these highly hazardous opioids, as well as other deadly compounds, such as counterfeit Oxycontin and heroin. It should come as no surprise to anyone that criminals mixing these drugs, drug concoctions, are not known for their quality control. That is why 272 Albertans died last year after ingesting fentanyl, more than double the 120 citizens who died in 2014. When these uh, criminals mix their fentanyl recipe, two extra micrograms of the drug, the equivalent of two grains of salt added into the cutting agent turns fentanyl into a killer. Fentanyl is coming into our province in a powder form. To press it into a pill, tablet, or capsule, criminals need a press. I found one on eBay for $750 US. It manufactured 3,000 pills in just one hour. Commercial pharmaceutical tableting machines sell for less than $10,000 and can produce 10,000 to 18,000 tablets per hour. That, Mr. Speaker, is the reason we need to regulate the presses. Two weeks ago, we learned a massive amount of W18 had entered Alberta. Alert, the Alberta law enforcement response team managed to seize it before criminals pressed it into pills. If they had not done so, until deaths may have occurred. Alert is Alberta's front line of defense against serious crime, which includes drug trafficking, gang activity, and child sexual exploitation. The highly trained officers recruited to join ALERT are particularly important for rural detachments which don't have the expertise to deal with many of these crimes. And rural Alberta has suffered equally with our cities when it comes to deaths from fentanyl. That's why I fought so hard to ensure this government provided full funding to fully staff ALERT teams. The arrival of Alberta uh, arrival in Alberta of W18 on top of the 272 citizens tragically killed last year by fentanyl underlines the ability that we have to save lives by regulating the devices that produce the pills for distribution on our streets. Bill 205 is designed to give police a powerful, proactive tool in their fight against fentanyl and W18. Officers will have the ability to seize these machines and the fine criminals who have them in their possession. The bill can potentially take tens of thousands of pills off the Alberta streets. Tens of thousands of pills that any one, any which one, can kill a person. As I've said before, it's like playing Russian roulette with your life. The fines in Bill 205 are unapologetically high, up to $50,000 for a first offense, $250,000 for a second offense, and $375,000 for a third offense or imprisonment of up to six months. <coughs> there is no reason for alarm at the size of the offenses. The criminal can pay them. Let's look at their business model. A drug dealer can spend five hours manufacturing pills on that $750 manual pill press. That's 15,000 pills ready for the street. Multiply that by 20 to $40, given the street value, and we're talking about $300,000 to $600,000 from just five hours of work. If a few people die along the way, well, why would they care? These pills travel all over Alberta for distribution. They don't know their victims, and they never will. It is a simple cost versus reward. No drug dealer really wants to kill their clients, but when the reward is so great, it is one that they are willing to take, and that risk is sadly the life of the victim. 
On a larger magnitude scale, one kilogram of fentanyl costs $12,000. A clandestine drug lab with a commercial pill press will compress that powder into one million pills. At twenty to forty dollars each, given the street value, we're talking about twenty to forty million dollars. In developing a Bill 205, I wanted to make sure that in seeking to shut down the, the, the penalizing illegal drug labs and the people who run them, we are not causing problems, of course, for those who legitimately use pill presses. That is why my consultation has been very extensive and I am pleased to say collaborative. I consulted with the RCMP and the Alberta Law Enforcement Response Team, as well as Calgary and Edmonton Police Services. Police made excellent recommendations which are reflected in the bill that you see before you. I also sought my own legal counsel, which helped direct me to considering amending the Pharmacy and Drug Act rather than drafting a new specific act. Because of this direction, it was incumbent upon me to consult with pharmacists. I turned to the Alberta College of Pharmacists and the Alberta Pharmacists Association. Both professional bodies provided excellent suggestions, which are also reflected in Bill 205. I sought further feedback from the Natural Practitioners of Canada, as I was not sure if their members used tablet presses. I was informed that they had no concerns. Finally, I consulted with the medical profession as well. In all instances, I received strong support as well as feedback that strengthened the bill. As a former sergeant with the Calgary Police Service, I know that regulating pill presses will not mean the end of hazardous drugs in Alberta. We still need education to help Albertans make good choices. We still need prevention in the form of good laws and strong law enforcement. And we still need intervention in the form of addiction counselling and long-term beds for treatment, as well as the ready supply of naloxone, a reactionary antidote that has saved lives. Bill 205, however, lets police seize the readily available machines criminals are using to make money and callously kill people. And the penalties include, included in Bill 205 will provide a deterrent to those attracted to easy money. I'm pleased to note that the fines will go to helping those who have suffered. The Victims of Crime Fund is one such example. Finally, there is an aspect of the bill that is truly Albertan, because Bill 205 seeks to provide a solution to a problem. It does not wait for anyone else to do it. It simply leads the way. Today, pill presses are regulated in the U.S. by the Drug Enforcement Agency. They are not, however, regulated in Canada or any other province. Bill 205 puts Alberta at the forefront of the fentanyl fight in our nation. It may empower other provinces to introduce their own laws, and it may convince the federal government to take this measure as well as others, such as controlling the analogs and precursors for making fentanyl and W18. But we do not have to wait for anyone. We can't wait. Bill 205 is what it actually means to be an Albertan. We innovate. We problem solve. We adapt. We cannot wait for someone else to find the answer. We do not look to other jurisdictions for answers. We are Albertans. That means that we are leaders. A few weeks ago, we were all aghast to learn of the arrival of double 18 in Alberta. It is hard to imagine a street drug 100 times more powerful than fentanyl, but it exists and it is here. Mr. Speaker, when I was first elected in this House a year and a half ago, I didn't know that this would be the first private member's bill I would be bringing forward. But as, I soon, as soon as I began hearing about the deaths from fentanyl overdoses, I started investigating the kinds of proactive measures that we could take to stop them. And now I appeal to all of you, as fellow legislators, to consider the important role that you play in this process. By voting in favour of this bill, this is your chance to show true leadership while saving lives. This is your moment to proudly stand up and put aside all political alliances and say, I have had enough and I will support this bill because I do not want to see any more Albertans die. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I look forward to everyone's comments on this very critical bill. Thank you, sir.